This is one of the most requested tutorials on this channel. This is the swing through tutorial. Now this one's weird because it's not so much like a trick, it's just like a concept that you do within a trick. So this is gonna be more explaining rather than me showing you how to do one specific swing through. If you understand the basics of a swing through, that should be all that you need to apply it to all these different tricks. So I mean, I hope that makes sense. Um, if you're watching this, I'm guessing you can already do a full, a B twist, a cork, something like that and then you're wondering how to swing that to another one or to another trick. If you can't do any of that stuff, then I don't know why you're watching a swing through tutorial, but I have tutorials for all that other stuff on my channel, so check that out, come back. If you can do that stuff, then yeah, let's learn to swing through. So the biggest piece of advice I can give for swing throughs, and this is the thing that helped me the most, because I would have the biggest problem with, say if I was trying to do a full twist and I was trying to swing that, I would always land with my feet together just because that's just how I learned to do it. I learned to do like standing pull first. And the idea of swinging it was just impossible to me. My legs were just always together. And I couldn't for the life of me get this leg out. I would watch it in videos and people would do it so easy. They'd be landing with a big eagle, a big swing like this. And I just couldn't do it. And the problem was, I was trying to land like this. I was trying to land with the biggest eagle just to get my leg through. The biggest tip that helped me was I stopped trying to land swinging I literally tried to land on one leg. I tried to do a full twist and normally I would land like this. Now what I was trying to do now was I was really just trying to not put this leg down. If I could land and just keep this leg up like this, and sometimes it would mean that I would land like this. And that's not ideal, you know, my leg wouldn't swing through, I would literally land on one leg. But that was the biggest thing for me because when I started to do that, my leg was just naturally starting to swing through. From, from doing that, from just landing on one leg, it unlocked the ability to just do swings. If I could do a trick and land on one leg, then that meant that I could gradually keep doing that and then my leg would just keep on coming through. And I think you'll be surprised at how you get on with it. It really works, it helped me a ton, and that's my biggest tip for swing twos. Now, I get a lot of people messaging me these days uh, asking for tips like, oh, how can I swing this? Nine times out of 10, the problem is their cork or their full or whatever, it's just not good enough, like they're barely managing to land it. You know, if you're landing like this with your chest way down, and sometimes you're not landing, then to be able to land, to be able to land with enough control to swing it, the problem isn't in your swing through, the problem is in the skill itself. Like you just gotta do your cork and your full like a lot more. People seem to rush, like as soon as they land full, they wanna do full swing cork. But if the full's not good enough, like you're gonna have such a hard time. Now if you're landing with your chest down, it's gonna be really hard to swing. And if you're landing with your chest down, the problem is you're probably not flipping enough in your cork or full or whatever you're doing. Because if you do a cork and you don't quite get the flip rotation right, it's very easy to do the twist and still land, you know, in a lot of cases you can land like this, but the problem there is you didn't have the flip and the power to do it, and to do a swing through from this position is almost impossible. So if you're landing low, you're landing with your chest down, and you can't seem to get your leg to swing, you just gotta flip it a bit more, bring it up a bit more, bring your chest up a bit more, and flip over yourself. But really, it's just about controlling your level of flip. You wanna be able to land with your chest more or less upright. Um, when you get a little bit better, you wanna like, start to block with your chest like slightly down so then you can lift it up. But in the beginning, you wanna be able to land a cork or full um, with your chest completely up. If you're landing like this or you're landing like this, you're gonna have a hard time swinging from that. Now, and if you're watching this and you can already do swing throughs and you're just maybe trying to get some tips and stuff on it, then there's a couple of things that'll help you. The biggest problem I see with people when they're doing swing rows is they start to lose that backwards momentum that you need. Someone's doing eight corks you'll often see maybe around their fifth or their sixth one, they start to lose this backwards momentum. And it's because by the fifth or sixth one, they're so tired, they're landing with their chest low, uh, a little bit too low, and then they need to force a cork. And then when you force a cork, because your chest low, then you're probably gonna land a little bit low as well, and then you need to force another one. Now, unless you're really good like Bailey Payne or a couple of other trickers who seem to like generate that backwards momentum from nothing, then your corks are just gonna slowly die and then you're gonna just not have, not have enough backwards momentum to do that last one. So that's the, one of the biggest things with core crows is you wanna keep a constant, um, not too much, but you wanna keep a constant backwards momentum going through them all. And as soon as that stops, that's when you're gonna have a struggle cork. And if you're not strong enough to save it, then it's game over. You're gonna maybe get one or two corks out of it. One, one last thing that helps me when I'm doing a core crow or a gainer row is the idea of copy and paste. 
Now that seems weird, but when you're doing swings, sometimes it can feel a bit manic. You're like, swing, 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 swing. You're just trying to land and swing into another cork. But if you really compose your mind and you just think about doing a cork and landing with your chest right, and then you just copy and paste exactly what you've done, and then doing it this way, really thinking about the technique of your cork, just to make every single one the same as the last one, this might help you quite a lot as well, because people get caught up in manic swings, they're just cork swinging everywhere, and then their cork technique goes out the window, and all they're doing is landing and swinging into it. So the idea of copy and paste, that'll keep your technique right, and it should, should make your overall swing combo look a little bit better as well. There's really not much to it. It's such a broad spectrum in tricking, um, so I can't really explain the specifics of a cork swing through and the beat of a swing through, um, but these tips more or less apply to them all. So if this was helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend who needs some tips um, on their swing throughs. Let me know in the comments how you guys get on with this. And also let me know what tutorial you guys want to see next. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. We're doing cooking with Kyle. It's cooking with Kyle. <laughs> you know what we're going to do with this? Come with me.